All right, this is a quick run through of squeezy cheeks. So we're gonna start the same way as spins, right thumb is pressed, left thumb is wrapped, same exact alignment. So the, uh, the feet are gonna be in parallel first position. So when we start squeezy cheeks, it's the same initiation as spins. We're gonna push eight and one. Instead of going through spins um, for however long I tell you to, we're gonna only do two, like two and a half spins, but we're gonna stop on three. So eight and one, two and three, all right? So the whole thing looks like this. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, all right? So that's the whole thing. Some of you can probably just get that and then work on the, uh, refine the technique on your own, all right? But if you're just learning rifle, please pay attention to the next part of the details. So we initiate eight. Again, the tip's gonna be up on eight and, and we wanna catch that gun, thumb up, tip down by one. So eight and, one and two, and then on three and three. It goes up again on two and, and we stop the gun on three at a left flat. Left flat because my left hand is under, all right? And remember, we wanna be a little bit closer to the bolt. Elbows are out. We're gonna squeeze for four, so three and four and, we're gonna push on five, all right? Same exact thing as when we initiated at the beginning. You wanna push and have your hand go directly to your thigh, blade, thumb attached, all right? My thumb is up on the left side, board is straight up and down. So five, tip is gonna be up on five, and we're gonna catch at a right flat on six, all right? And then from here, go ahead and wrap the thumb so that we can practice locking in the gun after every single catch. The point of squeezy cheeks is that whether you toss a five, a 24, a triple, anything, the gun always passes through here, all right? So Squeezy Cheeks is training you how to spot the gun, no matter at what level it is, and you're learning how to recover that, all right? So if my toss is high, I can learn how to recover it. If it's low, I can bend the knees and recover it. If it's where it needs to be, I can stand up straight and recover it, recover it, or just catch it, all right? So if you toss a double, one and two and it's going to be right in your face if you toss a seven a seven is going to pass through this position as well right before you catch so this is training you how to spot the gun um, before each catch spot this part all right the neck the space right below the neck that's what you want to focus on because that's the part that the gun is rotating around and that's the center point so that way you can watch that wherever it is you can spot it and stop it all right so that's the point of squeezy cheeks, all right? Just in case anybody was like, why are, we, why are we just tossing singles? It's training you how to catch any level toss, all right? So we're gonna hold three, four, you push on five and six, hold seven, push eight, and you repeat it for however long I tell you. So here's three in a row. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, all right? So the goal is to stay consistent, and I need to see both hands go to your thigh each time. We have to get rid of that monstrosity, okay?